Mm. That's good. I ain't mad at that. y'all i'm getting ready to make some hamburgers so i thought i would make them with you guys so i just have a couple pounds of ground chuck i'm gonna open it and put it in this container right here so normally i use these containers for my meats like these are designated for meats i get these from the dollar tree specifically for my meat put the meat in here and then we're gonna go ahead and season it up now as for the seasonings y'all i'm gonna keep this super simple i'm gonna use the better than bouillon seasoning in the roasted garlic base i love this stuff every flavor that i've tried i love so i'm gonna use this and this adds that salt factor you don't need any salt because this is going to be salty enough also going to use some sofrito which is a tomato cooking base you can add this to rice beans soups chilies and stews i also like to add it to my ground beef and I'm gonna use some unseasoned breadcrumbs. Now, I'm also gonna put a few veggies in this. So I have some leftover spinach. It's already chopped up. I just gotta throw it in. I have some red bell pepper. I'm gonna chop these down a little bit smaller than this. And I also have some purple onion, which I'm also gonna chop down a little bit smaller. So let me chop these down and then we're gonna add everything into the hamburger meat. All right, so I'm gonna just go ahead and throw these in with the hamburger meat. Next, I'm gonna chop a little bit of the red bell pepper. These don't have to be too small, not for us, because we love both of these veggies anyway. Y'all, I need to get me a new set of knives, like, desperately. I gotta add that to my to-do list to look for those on Amazon, because my knives are just horrible i want some really good stainless steel ones but i want the handle to be connected to the blade like one solid unit instead of two pieces like this i want stainless but like real good stainless so i'm gonna be on the hunt for something like that when i find it i'll let you guys know and i'll also leave a link in the description box not of this video but of the video that i find them red bell peppers going in next then we're gonna go ahead and throw this spinach in. I always put a paper towel in like my spinach or lettuce to soak up the extra moisture. And it is just really dry, which is good. But I'm gonna add all of this spinach, which is not a lot. And this is what we have so far. Next, I'm gonna add in a tablespoon of the Better Bouillon seasoning, probably a tablespoon of the sofrito, and a few breadcrumbs. I lied. I also wanna add some soy sauce or some Worcestershire sauce. Gotta look at my pantry and see what I got. Got some soy sauce back there. I don't think I have any Worcestershire. Gotta add that to my list, if I'm saying it right. Y'all know what I mean, though. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the breadcrumbs first. Not too much, it's about enough. Then I'm gonna go in with the better, this <clears throat> hard though. All right, y'all, so that is how much I'm gonna use. So next up is the, I don't think I'm, mm. y'all, I lied, this so freaks so don't look good. I don't think this is any good. I'm not using this. Let's see what else I got. So I guess we'll just do the spicy Dijon mustard and some ketchup. Add both of these in. I would have loved the sofrito, but got to get some more of that ketchup. All right, so here's what it's looking like. Like I said, not too much of any of the ingredients and i'm gonna give this a good mix and then make some burger patties out of them i didn't add the soy sauce so i'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of that before i give it a mix and it is a low sodium soy sauce So 
I know I said this was going to be really simple. So after I mixed it, I decided I wanted to add some cheese. I don't know if I'm going to add all this, but I just cut up everything I had left in that little pack. This is the cheese that I'm going to be using. You guys saw me use this on our pizza and it was so good, y'all. It's mozzarella and provolone mixed. And while we're here, we might as well cut up a little mushroom too. Like a little mushroom ain't never hurt nobody. So I'm going to cut up a little bit of these and add it to the mix as well. I'm not a big mushroom fan, but I know babies. is. I can tolerate a few, but this is all I'm probably going to add to the mix. I'll eat a little bit here and there, but I'm not like a mushroom person. Like she would want mushroom gravy. Ew. All right, so let's add in the mushroom. I didn't chop too much. It's not a lot of ground beef anyway. So I don't want to overdo it on the things that I'm adding into the meat. I'll let Babe mix it up this time, y'all, because them gloves too big for me. Looks good, huh? Mm hmm smell good. Jeez. What is that, cheese in there? Mm hmm Oh, my God. That cheese I told y'all, right? Mm hmm okay. Spinach, too? Mm hmm Oh, that's gonna be good here. Yeah. Ooh, that looks delicious, y'all. Oh, that should smell it, my God. <laughs> Baby, you can sell them on food truck. Oh, my God, baby. Every time I cook something, I be here cooking for you, not a food Babe. truck. If somebody was biting a burger that tastes, I, I can imagine what the taste gonna be like from the smell of it. Oh, mm -hmm. my God. I'm about to form the patties, but first I'm gonna add a little bit of olive oil to my gloves just to keep the meat from sticking. All right, so I'm gonna grab some meat. This will probably make about four burgers, so we'll have two a piece. See how burger meat ain't sticking at all? Cause I put the olive oil on there. And I'm just gonna form these into round little patties. Would you um, record me with my phone for a sec? But get the olive oil out the way when you record me, please. There, move that in the lid, please. Just put it over there because I might use it again. All right, y'all. These are the burgers. Don't they look delicious? Now imagine this as meatballs. I told Babe I got to make us some meatballs like this because they look so good. And then I got this special sauce I be putting on my meatballs, y'all. Oh, my goodness. If y'all want to see a meatball tutorial, let me know down in the comments below. Also, thumbs up this video as well. So these are the fries we'll be using. We got these at Aldi. These are really good. This brand is really good as well. So if you see these at Aldi, try these if you like fries. I have some canola oil heating up for the fries. And then I just have a pan right here for the burgers. I put a little bit of olive oil in the bottom. Just took my burgers out of the freezer. The patties have set up really, really nicely. So these are gonna be easy to cook and even better to eat, y'all. Look at that. Oh yeah. So for the other two burgers, I'm gonna put these in the freezer, y'all. I just wrapped them in the wax paper. We'll cut some wax paper sheets. I'm gonna put these in the freezer. We'll probably eat these tomorrow or the next day. All right, y'all, so here's what the burgers I'm looking like. They look good, smell good. I mean. So I'm gonna let these sit in here for a little bit longer. I have them on low right now. So I'm gonna let them sit while I toast up the bread and make the sauce. So we don't have any buns, but I'm gonna use this bread. I showed you guys this in a previous video. I told you it was my favorite bread. Well, it is. So we're gonna use this one. I'm gonna just toast it up with a little bit of butter. All right, they are out. I added the cheese and I just sat them on a paper towel so that they can drain. And I also toasted up the bread. I only toasted up one side because I like one side toasted and one side not. 
like for these burgers. The fries are almost ready. They're getting ready to come out of the oil. And I'm gonna let them also drain on a paper towel. I also made a sauce to go on the burgers, y'all. It's just mayo, mustard, ketchup. And this is spicy relish, but you can use a sweet relish or a dill relish. I'm also gonna add some black pepper and then that's gonna be it for the sauce. We're just gonna have some lettuce, tomato, onion, and jalapeno peppers. I'll show y'all what the burgers look like once we're done. Fries are out, they look so good, they smell good. I also add a little bit of slap your mama white pepper seasoning on them. So I'm getting ready to assemble my sandwich. I have the sauce that I made earlier. Also added a half of an avocado, cause I love avocado. And I'm just gonna add the lettuce, tomato, onion, and jalapenos to this next. I'm gonna add some everything bagel seasoning to the avocado and tomatoes. These onions are cut so thin. Babe cut these up. Tomatoes are thin too. She always cuts them thin and perfect. Y'all see in the pizza video how chunky this stuff was? That's cause I cut it up. I'm gonna add the jalapeno peppers here. Mm-hmm. Oh my goodness. Look how delicious that looks. Doesn't that look good? That looks so good. I don't even think I'm gonna cut this. I think I'm just gonna go straight into it. I lied about not cutting it. Oh my gracious, look at that. That looks so good, y'all. The only thing that I'm missing is pickles. And I have a whole jar. We just opened them today and they aren't any good. They aren't crunchy and Velastic is my favorite pickle. I'm so disappointed, so disappointed, but life goes on. Let me grab me some ketchup to eat with this and I'll check in with you guys once we start eating. All right, so let's taste this burger. That's good. I ain't mad at that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's so good. 